what, what the lady's is talking about. What's up, family? We have a 70-year-old man by the name of Herman Bell who spent the last four decades in prison for murdering two police officers in New York City in 1971. Now, Herman was fighting for the last several days because there were a number of people trying to keep him in prison, including the Patrolman's Benevolent Association and the mayor of New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio. They urged the parole board to keep him in jail because they considered it a tragic and incomprehensible decision to release him. The mayor said, murdering a police officer in cold blood is a crime beyond the frontiers of rehabilitation or redemption. He wrote that to the parole board. In the end, the State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision said it would comply with a judge order issued last week to free Mr. Bell. And on Friday evening, state officials said that he had been released. They said he would be supervised, however, for life in Brooklyn. The two officers, Joseph A. Piagentini and Waverly M. Jones were ambushed and fatally shot in the back outside of a housing project in Harlem on May 21st, 1971, a time when the city was rife with racial tension. The Black Liberation Army took credit for the killings. Three men were charged, Mr. Bell, Anthony Bottom, and Albert Washington, all claimed at trial that the violence was part of their war against the United States, and all were convicted and sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. Mr. Bell entered state prison in 1979. Damn, that's a lot of years, man. But man, if you're going to go to prison for anything, let it be for a cause, not just because. It's so many dudes that's in and out of prison. It's so many dudes that have spent 30 years, 40 years, 20 years in prison for dumb shit. These dudes said enough talking. We finna put some action behind it. Now here's the deal. People say, oh, it's a police officer. People lose their minds when, it, when it's a police officer. I cannot for the life of me understand how does a civilian value a police officer's life more than they value their own life. I don't get that. I just will never get that. I understand the job that they do, but it's a job. That's it. They, it's a job they signed up to, to do. They wasn't forced to do the job. They volunteered to do the job. And guess what? Most of them like what they do, despite what they tell you. Most of them are not fearing for their lives like they tell you. Most of them go to work looking to bust heads. They love the conflict. They love working in the so-called jungle, the hood. They like to go there so they can push people around and kill people. That's what they do. And so when those dudes bust back, that was a situation where it was a case of hate producing hate. I do believe. There's no way possible you can live in America or just, you don't have to live in America. You can just watch the news and see all of these cops just killing people left and right over little bitty minor infractions. Sometimes no infractions at all. Brutalizing people, just stretching their authority, doing whatever they want to, just acting like common criminals. And you think that people are just supposed to respect that? Nobody's ever supposed to get mad. Nobody ever is ever supposed to try to retaliate or try to take the law into their own hands when the law don't work, when justice is denied over and over and over and over again. That created the climate. The police busting heads like they were doing back in the 60s and 70s, early 70s. The same way that they did back then is the same thing they're doing now. And it hasn't started yet but it's just a matter of time. 
And this is the police creating that climate. They're creating the climate. They're creating the anti-cop climate. They're creating the, this climate where people hate policemen. It's their actions. I've seen people who started off like kept on making excuses for the police and they finally just got worn down. It was like, whoa, man. You know what, man? I just can't, I can't defend these guys anymore. You know, people want to feel safe. People want to feel like that the police is out there protecting them and looking out for them and looking out for the community, but they're not. People don't feel safe. You call the police, you might end up dead. <laughs> you call the police and report a burglary, you know, or call the police and report a disturbance or call the police and talk about, tell them that you have a, a family member that's suicidal or a family member who has some health issues or whatever, some mental health problems, and your family member end up dead. Because these people, they trigger happy. They don't ask no questions. They just come out shooting and gunning, killing little kids, killing old ladies, busting into people's houses, hitting the wrong house, hitting the wrong house, killing old people. They killed my homeboy daddy, a dude that who daddy has been working on the same job for 40 years, had a clean record, ain't never been in no trouble from the hood. They kicked in the wrong house, killed this man, gunned him down, and then nobody go to jail. I've never seen cops get as animated after civilians get killed and trying to bring somebody to justice, especially somebody black. I've never even remotely seen them be that angry and that determined to keep somebody behind bars who killed somebody black. They just don't do that. Yeah, cops and these cop associations and groups out there saying things like, well, these were innocent cops and they were just trying to get home and they were protecting the public. They were doing their job and he killed them. Cops kill innocent civilians all the time. I can guarantee you they killed one, at least one today. But they get paid vacations, but they call them suspended with pay, pending investigation. But a civilian kill a cop, you go straight to jail, no bond. How does that make sense? How is that a fair society? We can't have one standard for people who kill one class of people and another for those who kill another. If anyone who kills is eligible for and occasionally granted parole, then anyone who kills should be eligible. Anyone who kills should be eligible. Justice cannot be served in the presence of double standards. Welcome home, Mr. Bell. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?